How's it going everybody? This is Jose from the Stock Market 101 channel and I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And as always, if you guys haven't checked out my latest videos, I suggest you go check them out real quick. But other than that, let's get right into it. All right guys, so today we're going to be doing a video about dividends. So what are the benefits of being a dividend investor and why even invest in dividend stocks? Well, dividend stocks are stocks that pay dividends. Payments are usually in cash. Through dividend payments, a company distributes a portion of its profits to its shareholders every quarter and pumps the remaining profits back into the company to fuel its continued growth. Receiving dividends is like collecting interest on money in a bank account. It's very nice, but it's not exciting. Betting on the rise and fall of shares prices is much more exhilarating, especially when your share prices soar. However, dividend stocks offer several advantages over non-dividend stocks. Passive income. Dividends provide a steady flow of passive income, which you can choose to spend or reinvest. This attribute makes dividend stocks particularly attractive to people who are retired and looking to score some supplemental income. More stable companies. Companies that pay dividends tend to be more mature and stable than companies that don't. Startups rarely pay dividends because they plow back all the profits to fuel their growth. Only when the company has attained a sustainable level of success does its board of directors vote to pay dividends. In addition, the need to pay dividends tends to make the management more accountable to shareholders and less prone to taking foolish risks. Reduced risk. Because dividends give investors two ways to realize a return on their investment, they tend to have a lower risk to reward ratio which you can see in less volatility in the share price. A stock with lower volatility sees smaller share price declines when the market falls. Low volatility may also temper share price appreciation on the way up. Two ways to profit. With dividend stocks, your return on investment increases when share prices rise and when the company pays dividends. With non-dividend stocks, the only way you can earn a positive return is through share price appreciation, buying low and selling high. Continued ownership while collecting profits. One of the most frustrating aspects of owning shares in a company that doesn't pay dividends is that all profits are locked in your stocks. The only way to access those profits is to sell shares. With dividend stocks, you retain ownership of the company while collecting a share of its profits. Cash to buy more shares. When you buy X numbers of shares of a company that doesn't pay dividends, you get X number of shares. If you want more shares, you have to reach into your purse or pocket to pay for them. With dividend stocks, you can purchase additional shares by reinvesting all of or some of your dividends. You don't have to reach into your pocket a second or third time. In most cases, you can even enroll in special programs that automatically reinvest your dividends. Hedge against inflation. Even a modest inflation rate can take a chunk of your earnings. Earn a 10% return, subtract 3% for inflation, and you're down to 7%. Dividends may offset that loss. As companies charge more for their products, they also tend to earn more money and pay higher dividends as a result. Positive returns in bear markets. In a bear market, when share prices are flat or dropping, companies that pay dividends typically continue to pay dividends. These dividend payments can help offset any loss from a drop in share price and may even result in a positive return. And that is important. As you see here, we are getting into that correction territory. And if we keep dropping, we're going to be going into that bear market territory where most growth companies are dropping like rocks right now. And those dividend companies are slowly dropping, but these are continually paying those dividends, will, which will offset that loss. And also, who doesn't love dividends, right? <laughs> so that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Please drop a like, subscribe, and turn post notifications on. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.